is the Garmin Wilderness model 44,000 JK tailgate mount. And what this is, this is a device that goes over your back tire and uh, it's a cargo area. And these are the instructions. So you have to first remove your spare tire and then it comes with this bracket here it's very simple. You bolt this to the factory tailgate and then you bolt the cargo thing to this bracket. And uh, what makes this a little different and than some of the others is it actually has a device on here that rests on the spare tire that's adjustable. And that takes some of the load off of this right here. So, uh, as you see, it's got the, uh, you can slow this down. This is the parts list that comes with it. But uh, the spare tire is holding up a lot of this weight. So, um, you have to adjust this back and forth. It's kind of a pain when you have to change your spare out or rotate your tires, but it's not, it's not too bad. I've actually had this installed for about two years now. No rust, if any. And it works great. And I think the factory says it can do 75 pounds. But uh, you'll have to look that back up. But some of these tailgate spare tire over cargo racks only do about 25 to 30 pounds. So let's go take a look at it. All right, here it is installed. This thing has actually been on here for about a little over two years. And uh, it is extremely sturdy. And as you can see, this is where it rests on the spare tire. As you can see how it bolts underneath here to the rack. And as you can see, there's no rust under here. And this has been out in the elements. This Jeep is not connect, not uh, in a garage or anything. Uh, there is no rust. There's only one area that they have rust that I'm gonna show you. When you adjust it, a lot of times, uh, if you have a spare tire, like a 32 inch or above, kind of like this BF Goodrich KO2, this tends to get a little higher than here. So when you put your, uh, when you put your ice chest or whatever you want on it, you need to make sure that it, this is not rubbing on it. So you have to cut this down. And when I cut this off of the Dremel tool, uh, some of the flakes got on this bolt here. And as you see, it rusted. Same thing with this. Otherwise, it would not have rusted. So, for example, let's say you're going out a great place to put an ice chest and uh, I've been across the country with it and you just tie it down here right here and look at all that extra room you've got on here so you can look up the dimensions I'll put the description um, uh, link in in the description I guess I got this from Quadratech they had a coupon this thing was kind of expensive uh, but um, it's made in the USA it's definitely better than the Smitty belt um, and there's a few of them out there that uh, uh, that I chose this one over, and it has served me well. So uh, a long time ago, somebody asked me to do a video about this, and I never did. But see, when it goes, we can see back there, this is, is bolted up back here. And this is not flimsy. This is some heavy-duty stuff. So anyway, hope this answers your question. I definitely recommend it. Garmin. Thanks for watching. I call this thing Garmin a few times. It's Garvin. Garvin with a V. G A R V I N. Not Garmin. I'm looking at Garmin's, but Garvin. Vin, Vin, Vin. Ow.